Adobe came out with a feature called Productions a little while ago, and I have been exclusively working in Productions for months now. And I can tell you, it is amazing, depending on how you organize and structure your projects. Let me show you how I use it. Hey guys, I'm Patrick Fuller, and today we're gonna to be talking about Premiere Pro Productions. And I realize not everybody edits in Teams. I rarely edit in Teams, to be honest, so we probably don't even need productions, right? Well, not so fast. I actually love productions, and I'm gonna show you how I use it, but first, let's talk about what it is and what it isn't, and we're gonna start with Adobe's own site. This is the actual blog post announcement when Adobe announced the productions, and let's take a look at what they say because I don't 100% agree with it. Productions provides a highly flexible and scalable framework for organizing projects, sharing assets between them, and keeping everything streamlined, whether you're working on your own or collaborating with a team. Wow. If there was ever marketing jargon speak, that was it. Here's the real deal. You don't actually need to be part of a team in order to benefit from using productions. However, if you make one-off videos and that's all you make and you never really reuse any sort of content or templatize any of the things that you use in your videos, it's probably not gonna work well for you and you can just skip the rest of this video. However, if you make serial videos or series of videos or you add bits and pieces to videos and you constantly reuse those little pieces or maybe you just wanna make a little bit more robust library for client work or things like that, then Productions is absolutely worth taking a look at. Here's the practical side of what they're not telling you. First and foremost, you may wanna modify your video editing workflow to take advantage of what Productions offers. I think it's so much easier to archive your footage or just move projects around without having to worry about broken project links. And if you make video series, even if it's just two or three, Productions makes the physical content sharing so much easier. Let me show you what I'm talking about. On the right side here, I've got a typical project structure with all the folders I typically have, the project file in the root. That's a big deal, we're gonna come back to that. And all of the Adobe Premiere or Audition, if you're doing anything with Audition for audio cleanup, all of those folders are also in the root. Now, if we look at the left side here, things look a little bit different. So this is the root on the left side, and you'll notice something called productions. You can call it whatever you want. I actually like to use underscore productions, so it bubbles all the way to the top. It's easier to find. All the different series are in here, and so if we were to take a look at the quick edit tips, these are the folders for the individual videos, and if I expand those down, you'll actually see that you've got all those same folder structures, and then I actually have some of the MP4 files left in there. So in the Productions folder, I have those same Adobe folders that I would typically get, but now they're shared with all of the videos, not just individual videos, which actually is really nice. I've got a Share Libraries Downloaded folder, so anything that I have used or put up in the cloud that I'm using out of Adobe Library comes in here. Again, now I can easily share it to all of the videos, a shared motion graphics template media, and then I've codenamed this production YouTube videos. And inside here, you've got reusable assets, which is actually just other projects that I have pulled in, copied and pulled in. We're gonna to get to that in just a minute because that is actually a key feature in productions. And then within each series, houses the individual project files. So that means that the project files are now physically separate from the actual content, which actually works better for me because now I can actually move that content when I'm done with it, create some space on my hard drive, but keep those project files and just point to the new content structure. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and let me show you how to create a project. So you can see here, I actually have a YouTube videos and then I've got some reusable assets just because I like to keep those off to the side and then I can keep updating them and making them useful for other projects. And the first thing we notice is that the structure within the productions window looks a lot like our physical file structure now, which is really nice. So if I spin up contract needs here, it's gonna go ahead and open that up just like it would any other project. You'll quickly notice that everything looks the same except for now we have our productions folder here 
inside Premiere Pro, which allows us to open separate projects and continue to work. If I was to create a new one, I would just come here, do file new project. I can name it, we'll call it test one, two, three, because we're clever like that. Click okay, and it's pretty simple. Now it's easy to use. You'll also notice you've got some project locking here. Again, if you're editing on your own, it really doesn't matter, but it's nice to know that it's there. The other really nice thing is if I was to come down here and just click close project, and then I'm gonna come here to move to trash, then I've got this kind of bin area, this trash area, which makes it a whole lot easier to, to find stuff if I accidentally delete it before it actually disappears. But one of my favorite features within productions is the ability to create reusable projects so that I can have those assets available for any video in my solution. So I've created a folder here called reusable assets. And basically what I've done is anything that makes my life easier or simpler, then I will create a reusable asset project for that. For example, we've got a bin template here. It's just the folder structure, that's it. But what I can do is I can come up here, I can copy and paste those, open up my new project, drop those in, and it saves me time. I also have a core assets, and you'll notice this is V4, because every time I update this, I wanna make sure that I create a new version so I know which version I should be working from. And inside my core assets, you've got different transitions that I use, different blooper spacers that I might use at all of the end of my videos, uh, message pop-ups, things like that, that already have uh, sound or music tied to them. Now, I realize that was a lot of information so I'm gonna highly suggest just test it out, create a new production, play with not only just creating a project and a couple bins inside, but also play with pulling in another project to use so you can start to see it. And as always, if you got something out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, because it is 2021 and well, why not? And I'll see you in the next video.